the objective is to be able to speak to people about the Lord Jesus Christ in a conversational tone. Matter of fact, <clears throat> I'm trying to write a little book on conversations about Christ. Conversations about Christ. My whole idea about witnessing and telling people about the Lord should grow out of your conversation as you're talking to people about any particular thing. Remember, the difficult areas, one of those risky areas is turning the conversation to spiritual things. So how do you get into that? It ought to be as natural as possible. If someone said to you as a Christian, what's the biggest thing in your life? The biggest thing in your life. If you're thinking, you may not be, but if you're thinking, you're going to only answer one or two things. You might say, for instance, someone like myself, been married nearly 50 years, I might say the biggest thing in my life is my wife. <clears throat> I kissed her by this morning, said I love you. She said she loved me. I told her when I'd see her during the day. So she's a part of my life, everything I'm doing. We're just one person, one, together in the Lord, spirit, soul, and body. But in reality, I couldn't have that relationship without the Lord Jesus Christ. That right now comes across to you as information, but eventually, somewhere down the line, you'll understand that. I don't expect you to understand it now. I expect you to believe I, I'm saying it, but I don't expect you to understand it. You haven't experienced that. But Christ, Christ and our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, our fellowship with the Lord Jesus Christ, our communion with the Lord Jesus Christ forms the basis, the foundation, the starting point for everything else. So if you want to become an effective witness for the Lord, the only way to become an effective witness for the Lord is not memorize something. You think I can memorize and, you know, I'll check off God loves all people, all men are sinners, sin must be paid for, Christ paid for our sin. We must personally pray and receive Christ by faith as Savior. That's good, good to know. But you're witnessing because you are a witness. And the more intimately you know the Lord Jesus Christ, the better you can speak about Him and the freer you are to speak about Him. So there is no substitute. There is no substitute in witnessing for knowing the Lord. Knowing the Lord. And so that's what we're after.